Greetings everyone. We'll be drawing the right tympanic membrane today. And since I don't want you to forget that it's the right tympanic membrane that we are drawing, we start off by drawing the letter R which is tilted a bit towards the right. Then we draw a cone, literally, to represent the cone of light. Inside the cone, we inscribe the letters A and I so that we don't forget that the cone of light is present in the anterior inferior quadrant of the tympanic membrane. We divide the tympanic membrane into four quadrants. It is divided into four quadrants by two lines. One which is passing in the axis of the handle of the malleus and other which is at right angles to the first line intersecting at the umbo. Since we already know that the anterior inferior quadrant is where the cone of light is present, the quadrant which is behind it is obviously the posterior inferior quadrant. The other two are the superior quadrants. In the posterior inferior quadrant, we draw a circle which represents the shadow of the round window. Now I'm drawing the manubrium or the handle of the malleus which is attached to the upper half of the tympanic membrane. We are now drawing the anterior malleolar and the posterior malleolar folds. The logo of Lincoln Park over here represents the lateral process of malleus. We draw an eye which represents the long grass of incus. Attached to the eye, we draw an S which represents tapes. The IS stands for the incudostapedial joint. Now we label all that is left out which is the pars flaccida and the pars tensa and the central umbo. Here's a diagram for reference. I know the colors make it look so childish, but it also gives better visibility. And I love coloring, so I colored it anyway. Stay